Hello! I'm Chris Kirkman from Dice Hate Me, and this is the solo playthrough of Tiny Epic Quest from Gameland Games. This is their latest release, uh, the one that just came uh, back from Kickstarter being funded and delivered to backers. And of course it will be at Gen Con. They're going to be there. Check it out. So uh, we're going to do a little bit of experiment. I've not really done a solo playthrough before, but I've set it up here just to play through the game. I'm not going to explain the full rules. There are actually a couple of really good rules explanations online, including an official one from Gameland Games that you can check out for the full rules. I'll be talking through it as I play, so you'll get to see um, like how some of the quests work, how some of the solo things work. One big difference in the solo game is that the magic uh, card here is flipped to the one player side, and you have different um, effects that will, I guess, affect you as you build the magic track up during the game itself. So we'll be following those as we work on the magic, the magic track, and uh, I'll talk through as I move and adventure and quest. Uh, in the solo game, you set a level, a difficulty level here, and since I've played the game once before with four players, I'm gonna go for the page level. So that is a 45 point game. And um, I'll try to keep track of my score as best I can. I probably should have had a score tracker of some sort, but as soon as I get something, I'll update that and we'll have the score as we move. If I'm able to get to 45 before we reach to the end of the fifth round, then my questers win and the realm is saved. All right, so we've got everything set up for us here. <clears throat> and the first thing we have to do is we have to do movement. Now, normally the movement cards, you draft them depending on your player order. In the solo game itself, you are going to actually draft between two different cards and see where you want to go. So looking at my different quests here, I see that the Fire Temple is one of the first ones for get my legendary sword. The Water Temple is to get my legendary shield. And the Shadow Temple to get my magic staff. So also, I'm looking here, we've got quests set out. There should always be in the beginning, of course, at least one uh, temple quest and one movement quest. This one is to complete the Ice Temple. I don't really need the Ice Temple, the second one here, but unfortunately, what's gonna happen, no matter what, is even if I complete one of these, uh, one of the quests is gonna disappear at the end of the round, and we'll fill out new ones no matter what, just like you were competing against other players. So, I don't need the Ice Temple here, but it would be nice to get the loot or the flute off of our little item rack here. Or I can try to do this, whereas to have two heroes in another player's castle, and this one is map the land. To complete this quest, I have all three of my heroes at least three cards away from each other. So that might not be too difficult in the beginning of the game, but we'll see. But the other than points wise, the only one thing that this gets you is two hearts and two power. At the beginning of the game, not that great because you're not really losing that many right off the bat. But anyway, let's get started. So we're going to start by shuffling these up and choosing what movement I'd like to go with. So what I do, I'm going to just throw it blindly off to the side here. I'm going to put out two cards, and hopefully you'll be able to see these. One is by foot, and one is by horse. So I have to decide between those two which ones I want to draft. So I'm looking and seeing which ones I'd like to get to. I would really like to get to the water temple to start my shield. The sword is the fire temple, and that's not going to help me that either. But moving by horse, I'm right now kind of confined to this space but I could move by foot and then move him by horse later. I don't know if that's necessarily what I want to do, but I'm going to anyway. So I'm going to move this guy up to here. There's nothing for him to get immediately. I'm just going to place him here for now on this obelisk. And that is by foot. Well, let's see. Do one to a goblin. Let's see if I can start fighting a goblin first. If I did move him here, he would be attacking the goblin. Later, possibly Griffin's, nah, we'll see how it goes. All right, for right now, I'm going to uh, just move them over here. It's not gonna make a difference. There are no raging goblins, there's no aggressive goblins out right now because at the end of the game, they're all on the green side, but there will be aggressive goblins. You'll turn three of them each round in a solo player game. So that is by foot. So that's discarded. This moves up and put out another one blindly. And now I have to go between these two. So by raft is not bad, it'll take me up, maybe I could do the fire emblem, or the fire um, temple. I could also go over here by horse, and do that water temple. So either one of them to get my legendary going is pretty good. 
I possibly could just go ahead and see what else I get movement wise. So I'm going to do my raft and go up here and start the fire temple. And that is by raft. We got by ship. Now I can move anywhere coastal around here. So I could leave him fighting that goblin and take this guy and have him go to the coast over here to the water temple. And now the last is by griffin or by horse. If I want to move anyone or I could stay idle. Well, I leave him here by griffin. Gain two, but I don't really need that. This could take me down to the Shadow Temple instead of that, but I think I want to get my sword and my shield started first. The only drawback, of course, is that um, the Fire Temple and the Water Temple both require uh, scrolls. If I was in another temple like this one that required torches and scrolls, then I could share and not have to worry about overlapping on this. So I may want to consider moving him or my horse wouldn't really move him very much. He could move. This one actually advances one of your heroes one space on the temple track, which is pretty nice. But I do want to fight a goblin this turn, so I'm going to actually move down here. And, uh, well, I don't want to neglect magic, so maybe instead of starting that temple, I go here and I try to learn level one of that spell. So let's give it a shot. All right, we've got our dice grotto so i'm gonna roll this is my first turn at adventuring because i'm done with all the movement so these will be discarded over here all right so i don't know if you can see all that but in the first level here of the magic track the first goblin face is discarded you don't have to worry about that when you're in level one here of the magic track but i do have to take a point of damage because there is a goblin face left after that so i'm gonna lose a point of health and now, I think my splitting up my party was probably a good idea, but unfortunately I don't have anybody of that. But I do have one scroll, so I'll move one uh, forward in my water temple. I'm gonna keep adventuring. Throw caution to the wind here. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that level, because he's discarded, but magic is gonna move up one level, because I got a mushroom. Um, those are not gonna matter. And unfortunately, that is not going to matter. Although I could, if I wanted to, spend two power to advance one. But only, I do that after I gain the power, so it's not really going to matter. So nothing there, unfortunately. I could spend it. Mm, I'll wait. All right, let's keep adventuring. Okay, so um, we got two more magic levels. No damage so far. One, two. All I need to do is get up here in this first level and I can learn my first spell book. I got another one of these and I'm fighting this goblin. So he is going to take a hit of damage. Let's go again. Ooh, this is a good one. I can advance automatically to that and punch this goblin twice, which I like. I only need a couple more goblin hits to take him out, which I really need before I rest. So let's keep going. Ooh, interesting roll two. All right, so still no power here. No more advancement on my temple, but that's okay. But that's gonna take me one, two over into here. And uh, then this is going to kill that goblin. So now I put it over here in my trophy rack. And now I have to decide whether I want to keep pressing my luck or rest. At this point, I could keep pressing my luck, but now I'm going to get damage um, based upon the first one's going to give me one, the second one will be done, the third one will give me uh, one more damage as well. And on this one, I ignore the first power power up, but I get the second power up. Not the end of the world, but at this point, I let's go for it. Oh, ouch. See, that's what happens when you go for it. All right, so what's gonna happen is uh, the first one I have to take a damage, which I will. Second one's ignored. Third one though, I have to take another damage. Not great. I got one of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend two power to get the last on the temple. And that's where I'm gonna rest. So just like in the regular game, when you rest, 
you're going to bring the people back who have done certain things. I have managed to rest and I get level one of spell because I'm in level one here. That's going to come back to my castle. This guy's going to come back to my castle and that's going to come back to the castle and I have completed the water temple. So I will move my shield forward one just like that. So now for each person that has returned, I can gain a heart or power. So I'm going to gain, actually, let's see this. My max power goes up one. I defeated a goblin, so I get one more max on my health. I'm gonna move up two on health and one on power and see if I can increase that a certain way. No quests accomplished, unfortunately. I'm gonna take the movement cards back. This is going to be discarded. A new quest comes out. It's all movement quests. This next one is have all three of your heroes on temples and then I can gain three hearts, which would be really nice. At least I get two. This one would be even better. So if I can spread them out really far, I think that might be the best. So anyway, I got that there. We're in round two. And uh, we will just will not calculate. We'll just see. We'll get to round five and see if I've beat the page level or not. Right now, it's not looking too good, but we'll see. Um, I'd like to get some more quests out that could give me some ability things here, but we'll see. All right, let's shuffle up movement and see what I can do this turn. By griffin or by horse. All right, so it'd be really nice to be able to get this shield completely. If I can do the forest temple, which is, where are you? Here, oh, right next door. So that's an easy one to get to. I can save that for later. Um, the one where all three are on temples is nice, but the one where they're really spread out would be even better. And that's gonna be hard to do. If I put them here, then I have to move. There's no way. Well, I'd have to get somebody way over there, which is possible. So Griffin and by horse. Hmm. I also don't want to ignore the spell level. Actually, let's reset that. All right, well, I really do want to get that shield. So let's just go ahead and go next door. We'll use, unfortunately, by horse, which is not a great use for that, but okay. See, by foot would have been much better. But these things happen. Griffin and by foot. Now, do you probably want to keep attacking goblins because that's pretty nice? Um, or I could actually do that one by foot. I'm not accomplishing any of these quests, unfortunately. Mapping the land, not gonna get very far, although if I do put one here by foot, that would be one, two, one, two, three cards away. And then if I could get him, oh, diagonal with the griffin, could send me all the way over there and he'd be three cards away. So let's, let's do this. I'm gonna do this. I mean, it's one of my heroes, one space on the temple track. That's by foot. And by raft, up and down. That's not really gonna get me where I need to go, but that's okay. I'm gonna send this guy over here to a castle. Let's see, I won't, ooh, that's really pressing luck, trying to get that much spell work. That's dangerous. Let's send him to a castle so I can gain one or one. I'll gain a power. That was, by Griffin, that also makes them one, two, three cards away, and one, two, three cards away, and that one's three cards away. So I've got this one, which is gonna gain me two power, which is okay, and two of those, and I have a quest. Hooray. Uh, we'll see if anything else comes out. All right, so this would allow me to get the, the cane if I do the desert. Unfortunately, that's the second with this one. My last movement is going to be by ship or by raft. I would like to move this guy somewhere productive or this guy somewhere productive. He's not really doing anything right now. Vertical could help me get down there to fight that goblin. Or what is, where's the crab? Come on, crab. That, that, yeah, spider. Sorry, this is a spider, obviously. Webs everywhere. There's a spider. He's right next door to that guy. Um, the ship. 
does not work because that is an inland space and the raft will not get me there either. So I'm gonna have to give up that one unless I try to go for the scorpion spell. Oh, this is the worst. All right, so I'm going for that. I would like to fight a goblin. So let's use, oh, you know what I forgot to do? It's totally my fault. I forgot to make aggressive goblins. So let's back up for a minute and see if that would have affected me. It would have affected me. And uh, the goblin came out here because he's the only one I defeated. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six aggressive goblins. Now the diagonal would not have affected. It wouldn't. He would have been fine. He would have been fine. But he stopped in the square. He didn't move past it, so he would have been okay. But so by ship or by raft, we'll just go ahead and move him there to engage this goblin in battle. So there's all my movement. I was not able to, I do not believe, have all three of your heroes on temples, unfortunately. No, but that's okay. This one, of course, we did not do, and we're not in the desert. So, time to adventure. Let's do this. I'm trying to get, at least got a little bit of head start here, trying to get to the end of the forest temple, attack that goblin, and this guy's hanging loose. All right, so no goblins to worry about. I got one fire. Well, let's do this in order. Power, which I have not used. Uh, do not get that back. Um, one advancement on the magic track, which doesn't matter this turn. Um, and then one adventuring fourth. And one punch in the face to the scout. Take that. All right, let's keep going. Okay, first one ignored, but I take a point of damage because of this troll, or goblin rather. Still no power spent. One more on the magic track, doesn't really matter. Another punch in the face for this goblin. Let's keep going. Uh, man, these goblins are the worst. Another hit in the face from the goblins. I could block those, but I want to try to save them. I mean, if I did block it, I'd get it immediately back. Yeah, let's block it. It just goes back. And because I do get, yeah, there's no penalty for losing power, right? I don't have that yet, but I have another punch. This goblin is going to be dead meat pretty soon. Let's keep going. All right, no goblins to worry about this turn. Two magic levels. Now I'm starting to get into some dangerous territory, but there's uh, one torch, and I'll go ahead and spend two energy to move forward with that one in combination. Let's hope I roll some energy next turn. Let's keep going. Uh, I do take the first goblin face for that one, but I got my two energy back, which is cool. Did not get any torches, unfortunately. Now the question is, do I keep pressing? Of course I do. I got plenty. Let's do this. Just need to kill that goblin off and get some more torches. Ah, these goblins are the worst. Okay, the first one I take and ignore the second one. Although I could, nah, you know what? Forget that. I can block it. Spend two and I get two back. that and another punch in the face face for the goblin come on there's my torches oh this is a perfect perfect roll look at that beautiful dead goblin and got to the end of the forest temple and of course I will rest at that point so this guy is out in the fields um, he doesn't return home but he does and he does um, and I get my shield. Da -da -da -da. Okay. I don't remember which one of you were on that, but that's okay. You're going to take it. My first item meeple equipped with my legendary shield. By the way, these guys are ridiculous and brilliant. And I hate Michael Coe for coming up with them, but they're awesome. Anyway, we got one adventurer with a shield. Now we got two guys that came back. So I'll do one, two. And um, it's gonna be round three. This will reset. They're still out. We have this aggressive goblin. I killed one goblin over here. So we'll reset that. 
This is going to go away. Okay, new quest is have your heroes on three map cards that create this formation. That doesn't seem too bad. Advance your spell token one in the spell library. This is a good quest. That's a real nice one. I can get the cane, and now let's go ahead and read what the cane does. Instead of moving normally, oh, I can always move by foot. That could be convenient as well. But that's kind of getting ahead on these. Now I need to decide in round three where I want to quest. This guy's still out and about. So, um, anyway, let's get our movement cards. Now I'm getting a lot of points from goblins, which is good, but if I really want to start pressing the goblins, which might not be too bad because now I have the shield, and the shield allows me to spend only one energy to defend against the goblin. Now, my power level didn't go up, but I got another goblin, so my max hearts went up, which is awesome. Um, let's see, my legendary sword during night, the equipped hero gains plus one punch for each each of those spins. See, this would really allow me to, to press the goblin issue. It's going to mean that I have to ignore spell levels, which aren't great. So over here on the card, again, we're looking at spell levels. If I don't have at least to the third level, I'm going to have some negatives on that, which I really don't want to do. I want to pick up at least a couple more quests, raise my spell level, and probably start beating up some goblins. But, you know, adventuring is not bad either. Let's see what we got first, and then we'll go from there. By ship and by foot. Hmm. Depends on where I want to go. Still got this guy. He's probably the best case to move somewhere. We want to create that formation though. How can we create that formation and still accomplish our goals here? We could leave him here if I actually move this guy by foot. And just leave him there to attack that goblin. Now we have that formation. Boom. Piece of cake. So that was by foot. Oops. And now he is going to stay there to fight that goblin. I got this, so I get to move my spell token up one, which is awesome. And a request. Can't get better much better than that one. Alright, so I'd have to complete the ice temple. Ice temple is second to get my legendary sword. The fire temple requires scrolls, and the ice temples here requires those. I might, I want to do that. I can get the boomerang, and I can have my legendary sword. It's going to require a lot of questing, but now I have my shield. I can press better, and I'm still battling a goblin, which is good. I think this is what I want to try to do. So, by coast, we'll move this guy over here to do the fire temple. by raft or by griffin um, that means the last one I have is by horse which is what I'll need to get to the ice temple so uh, and I'll discard one of these to do idle he will sit idle and I'll gain actually yep I'll gain a heart because he's idling and he's in there and that was by horse so I'll go here to the ice temple so in order to get this sword, and this is what I want clarification for, and I'm glad I remembered it. In order to get this sword, of course, I have to complete the Fire Temple first, and then the Ice Temple. What the difficulty in that is, is that I'm going to have to uh, press my luck a little here. So I need to complete the Fire Temple while adventuring, but not complete the Ice Temple, because completing both of them at the same time, because they'll both be at the end and I'll rest. Completing both at the same time doesn't mean that this is going to advance twice. It says it's straightforward in the rule book. So I've got to complete this so that I can do this. And then hopefully I can get somebody onto this space to do this and complete that and get that during the next questing turn. We'll see what happens. A little bit of a, of a gamble here, but we'll see. I just need to roll really well. All right, well, here we go. Let's adventure. Okay, ignore the first goblin. Take a hit from a goblin. Um, actually, no, because now I can defend with one and there's a power that'll give it back, so that's what I'll do. 
I have one of these, so that's a good start. I want to finish the fire temple and only stay a little bit behind on the ice temple. And I gotta punch this goblin. All right, let's keep going. Ignore that. Oh, this is just really good. It's really good. Okay, so that's gonna give me two power, but it happens first before, so I can't just spend it. I need to spend it when I'm doing the, the advance. Uh, so I'm gonna set those to the side. Uh, this will allow me to move one, and there's another one, so I'm gonna go ahead and spend two power. Actually, I should have a, another one here because I advanced one more. It's okay. Spend two to advance another one here. And let's keep going. We've got to smack that goblin in the face a few more times. And it would be nice to advance that a little bit more. Okay, ignore that goblin. Uh, still no advancement on the magic track, which is fine, because I want to stay here as long as I can. I could go ahead and do that. Um, I do get one power, which is good. I'll go ahead and use that with two power to finish off the fire temple, just to guarantee it. Two more punches to this goblin. Alright, next round I need two more punches to kill the goblin and I would like to advance a little more on the ice temple. Okay, that's gone. I can't roll uh, torches to save my life here. Okay, one advancement on the magic track and one more punch for that goblin. That's good. Come on, torches, where you at? There's one. There's another advancement on the magic track. There was no damage. Um, I get a power back and a torch. Yay, finally a torch. All right, there we go. Well, give me some more punches and a torch. No damage. Uh, one more on the magic track. So I'm gonna start to get dangerous here in a second. One more power back, so that's good. Another torch, awesome. Uh, Move the magic already. Yep, all right. Let's keep going because I got to get one more punch for this goblin. It would be nice to be able to advance one more here. Yes, this is going to do it. Okay, I don't need these, but I need those. Goblin is dead. I got my torch. I'm going to go ahead and spend two power to uh, move one more on that square. And then I'm going to rest. Okay, so what that allows me to do is return this adventurer home and this adventurer home and they will then give me I'm already maxed out on that so I'll get two power from that I also completed the fire temple so I'll move my legendary sword one space forward this one is going to go away it is now round four and I will go ahead and put out that goblin and we'll do that and we should be set, set for movement. Now we need to move this. Now what I really need to do, oh, when you complete the forest temple. Why was that out when I completed the forest temple? It's the way it always is. All right, so we've got one if we complete the uh, desert temple. I really need to complete the ice temple though, and that's this one, so I need to get someone over here to advance this guy one space. see what happens here by Griffin and by foot okay so we don't want to waste a big Griffin movement so let's move by foot we'll move this guy here this adventure will move forward uh, it completes the ice temple turn them to the castle and gaining the boomerang okay so the, when equipped when the equipped hero is at a goblin portal each goblin I've taken, or each face I've taken, deals. Oh, that's right. It deals damage back and forth to the different goblins. So that's super cool. Let's get the boomerang off item rack here, if I can. There we go. We'll put it in this guy. Look at that. Now you need to be a goblin hunter. needs to be at a portal and that's okay. Okay, so let's add that to our loot. 
and put one more out. All right, light the cursed beacons. Have all three of your heroes on separate map cards on the coast. All right, well, we're in good shape so far. That's a coast place, but we're probably gonna move again, but let's see what happens. This is one to gain two and two. I don't really need that. Well, could use it for that. I did kill another goblin, didn't I? There we go. So that wouldn't be too bad. Plus it gives me questing powers. I do need to jack this up, but I need to start fighting more goblins. So that was by foot. The next one is by ship. Maybe on coast cards. So what we'll do is hmm. This, this adventurer right here needs to fight a goblin, but that's not too bad either. All right, so we've gone through this. We could get the cane or we could do the woods temple again, which is the bow and arrow or bow. During night, the equipped hero may punch a goblin from an adjacent map card, as long as it's not attacking another hero. It's not too bad. I really want to accomplish this one though. I think this turn, Oh, of course, that happened. That's what I, really, what I really wanted. This is another one during night, the equipped hero gains plus one punch for each um, power spent. Let's go ahead and really take this one out. Although, I don't think it really matters. Spread it out because then we can equip them with the sword and send them over here to fight that goblin, which is awesome. Because now he's really good at attacking goblins. And this person, unless I was to give them both the sword and the boomerang, that might not be a bad idea. Yeah. Goblin killer. Let's do that. So, all right. We did that by ship. To move them there, we did that. Then moved them again with the ship. Now we've got by horse or by griffin. Um, I still would like to get them all on coast cards. The lion head. I might be able to get the lion head. That would be a long, perilous journey. There's the wolf head. That's even further. Ice temple I've already done. I would like to... I think I'm going to do another attack on a goblin. I'm going to spread out my punches, but the benefit is that this adventurer can really smack around some people here. Now, it would be nice to try to get one of these quests, but I want to get that one on the end. So that's going to do, that was a diagonal move with a griffin, and that gives me the raft and the horse. Okay, we'll go for it. Raft move and try to learn since I'm going to need a lot of smacking but there's a lot of stuff going on. We'll see. I might be able to jump to this spell. Alright, so that everybody is on a coast now which is have all three of your heroes on separate map cards on the coast which is true. So there's another and I get to max out for my adventuring which is good. So another one Deliver the Royal Decrees. Have all three of your heroes at least three map cards away from your castle. Okay. And that is not true for me now, so it doesn't really matter. Time to adventure. Okay, I've got a lot of goblin smacking going on, and I need to get that those mushrooms way up, because I'm going to get three spell levels. So I need to get way over here, which is going to be dangerous, but we'll see what happens. All right, well, that's a good start. Look at that. Don't need those, but three levels in the mushrooms already. Of course, might want to slow down a little bit until I start getting the goblins, but we'll see. All right, first one's ignored. I'll go ahead and take that damage. We don't need that. Haven't used any power, but good. There's a punch. Uh, I'll go ahead and use it on that. Now, the boomerang again. I want to read the boomerang again. When the equipped heroes at a goblin port, each 
goblin face I've taken. So I just thought dealt had one, so he's gonna deal one to this goblin here. Because so I took a damage and he's gonna get damage back. Okay. That's handy. Ignore the goblin face. We'll advance to the next level on the magic track. We don't need any of those this turn, but a punch is nice, so we'll go ahead and spend a punch there. Let's keep going. All right, uh, we're in this next level, so the first goblin face is gonna give me a damage, but it's also gonna give this goblin a damage, which is awesome. Two more on the magic track. Whoa, we're traveling along now. It's gonna start getting dangerous in a second, but it's not too bad, because I really need it. But I need to take out these goblins first. Whoop. Oh man, two more. Okay, now I'm up here into this one. So no matter what, goblins are now going to deal me one point of damage and I can no longer gain energy. Not ideal, but all right, no more, no more mushrooms just yet. I need to defeat these goblins. Oh my gosh, no, this is horrible. All right, so first goblin deals me a damage. So this one's going to take another damage. Mm. So each power that I spend with my sword I uh, could punch these guys in the face. So I need one, two, three, four, five to kill all of them off because this now I can't get any more power and I've got two and that's immediately going to deal me one because it's an extra mushroom that I don't want. So I've got five to kill them off. I'm going to use them all and go ahead and kill both of these goblins off and be done. Rest, so I'm not gonna mess around. And that was a lot of power to spend, but I think it was worth it because that hero, hero adventurer, heroine adventurer returns, all of them returned because I got to the third level, was able to get that as well. So that's one, two, three on the power. Um, I'm back at here, so I'm going to go ahead and go one, two, and three for that power card. And we're finally up, whoops, to the fifth round. Um, that goblin was gone. This goblin was gone. This one, of course, went to be aggressive, but we didn't cross him last time. Goblin, goblin. Fifth round. Ditch that quest and oh complete the shadow temple would give me the shovel and the equipped hero moves to a map card immediately roll the dice and gain one power for each power symbol rolled not bad but at this point in the fifth round mostly it's about getting quest cards because I have four quests right now which looking here on that four quests will get me uh, is that six points Yes, six points. I have, let's go ahead and do a score tally right now. So I've got six points for my quests. I got one, two, three, four, five goblins. Five goblins will give me 12. So that's 18 points from those. And I'm on level five of the spell track, which is four. So four and six, 10, 22. Uh, <laughs> wow. I think I'm going to have to try to just do everything I possibly can. I need to try to get one of these quests, and it's not going to be from doing a temple because I need to destroy goblins. So I need to have all of my heroes at least three map cards away from my castle. I think I can accomplish that because I want to attack a lot of goblins this turn. Well, let's see what my movements are first. I want to attack goblins, and I would really like to get this... It's a, probably a wolf, but it looks like a badger to me. I want to get this badger. Now, badger's right next. Oh, no. I would have to move them all, get that, and then move somebody back over here in order to get that. Three map cards away from the castle. It's crazy. Let's see if we can do it. All right. So we got by Raft and by Griffin. Hmm. I learned that spell already. Raft is going to take me three map cards away. I have to move him later. 
which I could move him later over here to fight that goblin. Diagonal, the griffin, would take me three map cards. I'd have to pay, spend a power to go buy this guy. But it'd be one and two over here to learn. Nope, I'm already past that spell, so that's not handy. All right, so what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna use the griffin. Uh, this guy's gonna need to be attacking. So hopefully by foot. So we'll move him here. Now, unfortunately I'm moving past an aggressive goblin, so I have to spend the power, but I gain it back by going to the castle. That's okay for now. That's the griffin movement. Shuffle these up. By ship. All right, well to get this one, I'm just gonna have to risk it. Unfortunately, I don't think that's gonna work out, but I have to do it. So, Um, traveling by ship to here. Ah, this is this is not good. Wait, where is the one? Move another one of your heroes up to three map cards. Let's do. All right, so we did. Where was it? By ship. By ship was the last movement. Now again, I'd have to clarify the rules here, but I think traveling along the coast, I'm gonna be passing through here. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and pay. But basically, I'm going to go, oh, but I can't fight. Move another one of my heroes up to three map cards, but it's still good. Yeah, because it's all in one movement, so we'll just try this. So we'll go through here, which I'm gonna spend a power. To do that, which now allows me to move one up to three map cards, which I'll go one, two, and three to fight this goblin. So that's two in a movement, plus it gives me this. So one, two, one, two. And now I still have two movements left. So that's good. So I have one position to fight that goblin, which is the one I need. I have my foot and then my horse. So I really need to position hmm. this person needs to move, but unfortunately I still I'm in a spell problem. Yeah, because there's not really any way for me to go unless I move him by foot and then by horse over here, and then I'm not getting two goblins. And I really have to press it to get up to the badger. That's not going to matter either. I just got to attack a goblin, so we go by foot. I guess. And then by horse or by raft. So, the unfortunate part is that leaves these two fighting, and then, but there's no way for me to advance. Oh, let's see what this was first. Say I have two heroes on the center. Oh, that's the center. And then advance my spell token one, but was there any way for me to do that with two people at that time? That leaves one move by horse, he'll move there, and let's just hope that we can survive. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. This is goblin smack and turn. All right, here we go. Don't need any of that stuff. Uh, power would be nice. Um, two punches. You're able to do damage no matter what, so we'll just split them up one and one. Two 
two advances. Um, none of those. One, oops, one, two. One punch. We'll deal here. Oh, sorry, I couldn't see what that was. Oh, okay. Hopefully, if all of you watching this saw what that was and I flipped it, I couldn't see it, but I promise you I'm not cheating. Okay, there. Uh, yeah, three punches, awesome. So, one, two, three. So that's two goblins almost dead, that's good. Keep going. Uh, okay, so I'm still level one. I am gonna take a hit, but I'm gonna gain a power. Oops. And uh, that one hit also translates to a hit to this goblin. None of the rest matters. Keep going. Power, power. Uh, goblin I could ignore. Two more power. All right, I like that. Um, a mushroom level up and a punch which is going to translate to that now I have one two three four five six seven and I have eight power which I'm going to go ahead and do that and distribute damage to all of these yeah well I'm going to roll that of course can only be used on that goblin there um, well we'll just keep pressing it I need to use them a little bit later we're not up on the magic track. Oh, we are. Well, taking some more goblin hits, but we'll see. All right, so that translates immediately to a goblin hit. Uh, that was, sorry, back up. That's a goblin hit, which translates to a goblin hit here. And uh, another mushroom level. Another punch. We'll go ahead and kill that goblin off. Mm. Uh, let's see. First power is done, but the second power I can gain, but I haven't spent any. That's two punches though. So one, two, that's another goblin dead. And I can just go ahead, I'll just end it. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. And this goblin will die as well. And that is it. So once again, bring everybody home. Yay! We celebrate successful questing. So let's see. Again, double checking to see how I did. So we'll start from the spell level. I'm at spell level five. Got to the lion's head. That is worth four points. And next, I have five quests completed. Five quests completed is eight. So eight plus four is twelve. And then goblins. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight, just to verify that. So we're at 12 points right now. Eight goblins is 25. So that again is 37, like we calculated before. 37 plus the two uh, legendary items that I equipped, the sword and the shield. Those are worth eight points. 37 plus eight is, unless my math is horrible, 45 points and playing on the page level I win unless I cheated I probably did something wrong I might have missed something I might not have paid once for one of the rampaging or uh, savage go goblins that are out there but you know I'll consider that a win <laughs> it was fun anyway and you can see though I mean getting 45 points that took a lot you got to really to be getting up here and playing the squire all the way to hero of legend I mean 60 points that's crazy you got to be completing at least one or two quests a turn uh, including venturing into these when these come up really quickly to boost those powers up really fast but as you can see the solo version of the game is very playable very easy it works out really well I like the addition and how things are changed here on the magic track. So maybe you'll give it a shot yourself. Um, I felt pretty comfortable, only had to look up a couple of clarifications in the rule book, but there you go. That is our solo quest of Tiny Epic Quest. We'll see you next time.
Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this and if you'd like to see other playthroughs. I want to try to do some two, three, and four player playthroughs on the channel as well. If you like me doing solitaire playthroughs as well, I'll keep doing them. See ya!